Okay, let's check out. Soon, oh. Okay, is this recording? Seems like it. Hola, chamas y chamos. Welcome back to Alvaro Dev Labs. Today, we're gonna continue our journey with 3CS yes, and we're gonna check out Orbit Controls. This video is sponsored by Storyblock. So, let's continue where we left it the other day. Um, we have this cube rotating in every animation frame, and today we are gonna see something new. So what happens if for any reason I want to check out for a different angle or I want to zoom in or zoom out the scene to check if it's uh, rendering correct, okay? Right now we can't because we don't have anything that will control the camera to be able to do that. So we are going to add orbit controls to our scene. So basically an orbit control is a controller for the camera that allows you to rotate or orbit a certain target. In this case, it's going to be the center or of a scene, or we can set it as the uh, object that we have in the scene. There are three ways that we can add orbit controls using 3CS. Yes. So we're going to go for the first one, which is more uh, similar to how you will do it in plane tree. And then you will see some additions on the 3CS yes that will make it really easy to use. But first, I think it's gonna be really boring if we inspect a cube that is rotated. So let's go back to our code and change the geometry to something more interesting. So here we have the same exact project that we were using in the past two videos, but this time we're gonna remove the box geometry and add something cooler. Um, in this case, we're gonna add a torus knot. So for, for those of you that doesn't know what the torus is, it's basically a donut, okay? So is the word I don't know why they didn't put it donut geometry. No, they put it torus geometry. So here we're gonna change the box one. Um, we're gonna put uh, torus geometry and we are gonna add some parameters here. Uh, we are basically the radius, uh, the radius of the tube and the segments. So let's save here and probably we would like to change all the wording for box to torus. Okay, so, ooh, it's bigger than I expected. Mm hmm Okay, so let's change this and put it a little bit smaller, like two. Refresh, it's still too big. Mm hmm But th this is one of the reasons, for example, that you would like to have a uh, orbit control here, that you can zoom out from the geometry if it looks too, too huge. So here let's put like 0 0.2, refresh, okay it's more likely. So this is like a sad donut or like a really thin uh, donut and then we're gonna use the torus knot. So a torus knot is different from this one because it creates something like this. So it's like a donut like your headphones, whenever you have them on your pocket, this is the result. So um, it looks terrible in my opinion. So let's see if we can improve it with the segments maybe. Nope, maybe it's too uh, little. Let me see one example in the web. Uh, so 10, 3, 100, oh, 100 here, okay. And here 16 maybe. Okay, that, that's a smoker, cool. Maybe this could be a little bit more, too much. <laughs> so you can always play with the, okay. Here we have something more interesting, right? So uh, right now we have our geometry uh, set it up. Now let's add the orbit controls. Okay, the first way that you can install orbit control is the 3GS way. So this is the, uh, the one that you learned at the beginning, but this is the one that I like the less. Why? Because you have to import an add-on. So Orbit Controls is not part of the core of 3GS, but rather is a plugin or an add-on. So it's in a different path of the um, package, which is something that I don't like at all. Okay, but it is what it is. So you have the Orbit Controls here, 
uh, I actually going to yeah just leave it there and like any other constructor that we have in 3GS we have to initialize it so we're gonna call it controls and we're gonna use equal to new orbit controls and we need to pass two parameters which are the camera and the render the DOM element of the render so how we do that um, right now like we don't have any way here or any access to the instance of the render or the camera itself we could do the same as the ref here and get the camera but it's a, that is an easy way to do it and it's one of the core composables that three uh, that that Tres yes has which is use Tres. so we're gonna import use Tres. actually here from this part and I'm going to zoom a little bit. So we are going to import it from the core and we're going to use it here. So it's going to be const a state equal use trees. So we're going to use a watch effect because this is, um, how you say it, is uh, reactive, okay? So this holds the state of our all is in. So it will contain the render, it will contain a lot of different properties. In this case, we only want to use the camera of the active camera and uh, the renderer. For that, we are going to do an if statement here and say, hey, whenever a state has a renderer and a state has, no, no dollars, but a state has a um, camera, then we can initialize the controls. So since we want to initialize and we will need to add in here, but we would like to uh, use the controls in the loop as well. So let's put it outside. Let control equal um, no, for example, yes. And here we are going to use controls equal that. And I don't remember the, the actual order. I think it's the camera first. So camera and then a state render DOM element which is basically the canvas okay so let's save this bad boy here and so let controls control is declared but never use yeah but it's usually here no so I need a lesson here uh, what are you complaining about the typing of course okay so if we save here and we go back not to this one but to this one we're gonna see that now we can uh, move our scene, okay? And it's actually funny because I'm not updating the controls though. So uh, normally, if I remember correctly, you needed to go here and say controls update. This is the any time. And that will make that you can do this, but now it's working by default. So I don't know if they have uh, changed something in the, in the controls, but it's like it's, it's working, which is nice. Let me see if I don't have anything added. No, it just worked. So before I remember that if you don't, you didn't do this, like you didn't add on the on loop, um, the controls update, they weren't updating like the render. But right now it seems like it works without it. So, I mean, it's in the documentation, it's up to you. Okay, so now we can see that we can like zoom in, zoom out, check all the sizes and so on. Nice. Uh, I forgot to show you something. Um, <clears throat> whenever we have the controls as well, we can set some properties here. They are really interesting. So one of them is, um, if I remember correctly, it's like an auto, no, enable damping. So enable damping will allow to have like inertia, like uh, acceleration. That's pretty cool. It gives a really nice uh, detail here because if you go like, if you rotate, you can see that it accelerates, so it's way smoother animation than when you have it without it. So you do it like this and you see like it's, it's getting some momentum and then it stops. That's one of the ones that I like the most. Then uh, there is one that's called controls auto rotate, I think. Auto rotate, yes. So I guess this one I keep, well, if we, of course, if we have the, um, 
the the object rotating is less visible. So I'm gonna remove uh, the animation of the torus to keep it. I, I I can't stop swiping for the other example. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this is the one, and you can see that now it's auto rotating the camera, but the object is still the same. How we can know that is that uh, the axis helper that is in the center is still like it is still static, but the camera is rotating as well. Okay. Okay, so the second way is uh, kind of similar, but we avoid doing this much stuff. Okay, so we are going to remove the watch effect here. And what we're going to do is extend the original catalog of Tresies by adding the constructor. So this is the recommended way. Um, we need to import uh, extend, okay, extends. And extends comes from, um, I actually don't remember, I think it's use catalog. Extend equal use catalog. Maybe, yes. So it's not extends, it's extend. And you have to pass it as an object like this. Okay, and what this will do, I'm going to remove these controls here and the control update from the loop, okay? And this basically will allow us to add here something called trace orbits control. So whenever you extend something with this um, helper, what it's gonna do is add it to the catalog so you can use it as a component the same way as we were using trace perspective camera and the other ones, okay? So uh, we still need to do something because if we save here and we go to our example, you're gonna see that you actually cannot see anything because there is an error in the um, developer tools in the console. So it says that it cannot read property style of undefined. And if we go here, it's complaining that it doesn't have the DOM element, which is the canvas. So that's easy to fix though, um, because we need to pass some arguments here as we did um, in, in the other part, like we need to pass the camera and the, and the render. So we're gonna create uh, or pass a property arcs. And in the, same, in the first one, we're gonna pass state camera and then we're gonna pass a state um, renderer DOM elm. Let's click save and let's go back, refresh and we still have the issue and that's because um, this template ref that holds the renderer and so on is uh, asynchronous, it's tracked. So Whenever we are calling this uh, component, this is still on the fine. So what we need to do is add a B if and wait for it to be available. So we are going to wait for the renderer to be available. You can also add one for the camera, but mo most likely the camera is going to be ready whenever the, the renderer was. So we go back, we refresh. So now the canvas is here, so we can remove this. And then we have our orbit controls working as the previous example. <laughs> so before we jump to the third one, some words from our sponsors. Looking for a CMS solution that is great both for marketing teams and developers? Look no forward. StudyBlock is the headless CMS solutions that you always wanted to have. See how easy it is to change content for your website with a real-time visual editor creating a delightful customer experience for your teams. Go from a content update to production in no time. StudyBlock is easily integrable with multiple tech stacks, making your dev team's life easier. Go and try it for free at studyblock.com. So, to check the third way of using Orbit controls. In our application, I had to introduce you to another package that is part of the ecosystem of 3 cs which is called Cientos Package. So it's a lame joke. Um, so it's a really lame joke with wording in Spanish because tres is three and cientos is hundred. So it will be like 300. Ta -da. What this expresses is that it's a complementary of the core. 
meaning that all the abstractions, all the new stuff, all uh, a lot of uh, cool composables that will make your developer experience easier with the core package are included here in Cientos package. So um, if you want to check more of the documentation here, uh, you're gonna see that there is another part of the primary sidebar which is called Cientos, and here you will have abstractions for text in 3D, to use animations for models, to use uh, orbit control, transform controls, and to uh, load uh, objects or models that we will wanna check in one of the videos in the future. But today we're gonna focus on our orbit controls. So uh, the way you can do it is way easier than before. You will not need to wait for the render to load or pass any camera. And also something good is that the orbit controls are no longer going to be added by the add-ons, but by another library that is done by uh, PMDRs, the creators of React through Fiber. Okay, so let's change this here. And we're going to use Tres Yes Cientos. Okay? So if you don't have it installed, which is actually the case, um, I think I didn't install it here. So I'm gonna add another one here. And just gonna do npm install Tres Yes and Cientos. Okay, so it's gonna take some um, seconds and then you don't have to install it like a plugin. It's just basically taking the um, uh, components directly from here. So you can see this is actually a component. And here we don't need to extend anything anymore. So we can remove the use catalog from our application. Okay. And instead of using tres orbit controls, we only need to remove the tres Okay, to use the one that is coming from Cientos. Save. And then let's go to uh, where the application was here. Okay, so let's refresh and you can see that it's working right away. So this is the easiest way of using the orbit controls. Take in consideration that whenever you're using uh, Tres Cientos, it's a bigger package. It's three shakeable. You can use the orbit controls without installing the whole thing. But may, bear in mind that this add more stuff to your application. Also, we can remove the use stress here because we don't need any more. Cool. So um, that's pretty much for today's video. Uh, I hope you learned something new. Which uh, we covered several stuff here. Like we cover how to extend the initial catalog of Tres ES. We learned how to um, what else like. We learned how to use the use stress uh, to get the state of the camera of the render to use it. Also, we find that you can do it even programmatically or using components. So it's your decision completely how you want to implement it. Uh, Tres is going to give you several options so you can choose the one that you like the most. So with that being said, this is the end of the video. Please subscribe, drop a like, and see you in the comment section if you have any questions. I also will provide in the description below all the resources for this video tutorial, including the repository that we're using for this series and some documentation from Tres and 3 years so you can um, go along with the tutorial. It's including the use press, the use catalog, and what else, and yeah, well, the orbit controls and Cientos package. So again, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.